everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to bring you a video on a credit hack on how you can drive a new luxury vehicle every month without a down payment. Now, if you are new to my channel, I bring you information to help you no matter where you are in your credit journey. This channel is about credit education. I am not credit repair. So if you like that kind of information, make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Also, you guys, beware of scammers in the comment section. I will never send you a phone number or a WhatsApp to reach me. So if you see that, you know automatically that's a fraud scammer trying to get your money. If you want to contact me, you can simply just pull down the description in this video and there's a link to my website. You can go there and if you have some detailed questions, you can submit it and it goes directly into my cell phone. If you have a general question, just leave it in the comments section and if I reply, tap my photo and make sure that the subscriber base matches this channel. Now let's jump into this hack. You all know that inflation is at an all time high. Everything costs more, including vehicles. Now, when you are looking for a vehicle, whether it be a lease car, financing a car, you're going to have to put down a large down payment if you want a luxury car such as a BMW, a Porsche, if you're looking at Range Rovers, you're going to put down a large chunk of money. I'll give you an example. I am in a market where I'm looking for another BMW X5, which is a car that I currently drive. Those cars are running right now around $70,000. I sat down to see about even leasing the car because when it comes to luxury or foreign built cars, if you ever had one, you know that the repair and the maintenance on that is astronomical so you want to make sure you trade these cars out often when i looked into a lease they wanted ten thousand dollars down and my car payment would be seven hundred dollars a month now the implications of that would be i'm in the market where i'm looking to build a new home if i go out for a mortgage that would reduce what I qualify for. And some people, it can cause you not to be able to even qualify for a mortgage at all because the way the credit system works, if you have a debt such as a car lease or a car payment, it's less that you can qualify for because it is a monthly obligation showing up on your credit report. So if you want a loan, if you want a home, anything in that category far as lending, even if you're going for credit cards, that car note looks like a monthly obligation and versus your income, it causes you to qualify for less. Now, it costs me, would cost me $10,000 down, $700 a month, and I have a credit score way over in the 700 credit score, close to an 800 credit score. So what that is telling you, that is even with the best possible interest rate. They're telling me if I wanted to finance it, I can put ten thousand dollars down and pay eight hundred dollars a month which is still a lot of money so a lot of people get in trouble with their credit because in especially this rough economy that we're entering into people may lose their jobs or because of the high inflation you can't afford your car note the average car note is five hundred and $32 a month in the United States, adding insurance on that and any windfall, you can get a repossession. 
but I do have an option for you guys with this credit hack. Now with this option, it is not going to show up on your credit report. You don't have to put a large amount of money down for a down payment that you would not get back. And with leases, you have what you call depreciation at the end of that lease. And if you go over the mileage on your lease, you might have to pay $8,000 back, which what happened to one of my cars that I leased at the end of that lease and you have to pay it by the end of that month or roll over that money into another lease. So the option that you can use for this credit hack is called a car subscription program. Now we're going to review some of these car subscription programs and we're going to do a breakdown on three companies. The first is Six Car Rental. They have a flexible car subscription program with no purchasing costs. You can stay flexible and it's fully customizable. Now with Six Car Rental, they only require you to keep the subscription for 30 days and they have a number of cars in a certain class where you can have this subscription and tailor it for your needs. Now, with Six Car Rental, they have different classes of vehicles. Now, as you can see, the lowest subscription program would be in the class of a Nissan Sentra for $599. And this is including the insurance on the vehicle. But they do have BMW X1 series, BMW 3 series, and BMW X3. So with those cars, it would not necessarily always be that car in particular, but that class of vehicle. And it dictates depending on the size and the premium model on how much the cost of the subscription program would be. But you can go to the class of a Jeep Trans, uh, Jeep Cherokee class, even to Suburbans and Tahoes, and you can tailor the program according to your needs. Keep in mind, this is going to be a monthly price for you. So the subscription and the cost is on a monthly basis. They also show you a breakdown, this being your alternative to leasing and some of the costs that is wrapped into it, like uh, vehicle sales tax, insurance, registration, and the maintenance of the wear and tear. So this may be a great option for some of you that is in a car market for a vehicle to use this instead of financing. Now, Hertz also offer a similar program to six car rental with no upfront fees or finance charges. You are required to keep the subscription with Hertz for 63 days. Now with Hertz, you need to call for the availability of the cars, but some positives that compared to a lease, you only have to keep the contract for 63 days versus uh, 39 months and no down payment. Now, for some of you that want the exotic foreign car market, Porsche has a subscription program and it includes the maintenance and also the insurance on the vehicle with roadside assistance. Now, with their program, they have for a subscription for a month or up to three months. Now, with Porsche, you have the option to do a single vehicle subscription plan or a multi-vehicle subscription plan. Now, of course, it being Porsche, the fees of their packages is going to be higher because of the vehicle that you are really um, subscribing to. Now, they have the Mechanic, also the Cayman, the Boxer, the Cayenne, and the coveted Porsche 911, which is the highest at $3,200 a month. But you can also choose the multiple subscription program, and that is running uh, 
uh, $3,600 a month, but you can choose from the vehicles that they have in their selection and you can switch up the cars that you would choose and they have multiple locations across the nation and this could be a great option for you to figure out which vehicle you may want to invest in without the high cost of keeping that vehicle once you put down the down payment even for a lease on these vehicles because these cars are very expensive. Even the lease price could be a down payment of $10,000 or better. Now, some of the takeaways with a subscription car program, they do vary from company to company. Sometimes you will have limitations on your mileage, but it depends on what package you're opting for. And some do require you to put a security deposit, but places like Hertz and Six Car Rental will return that deposit to you. Sometimes they'll even return the deposit within 30 days. It all depends on how that car company operates. They do sometimes have an activation fee for that contract that they will charge you up front, but you're able to get out of that contract on the limitation um, dictated by that company. Places like Six Car, you can actually do it from month to month where you can cancel that car at any time. And certain companies like um enterprise will prorate you if you cancel that car and you don't have to pay for the whole month so this could be an option for you especially if you're in the car market for a luxury car if you're a person that would like to get a porsche a 911 or a cayenne yeah they do have a high a monthly fee but if you're in the market for that car you can examine that and just go and try it for a limited period of time and then you can just turn it back in then being stuck with a lease for two to three years so this is a really great option especially for those who are looking to go for a home loan or if you're looking to go for a loan, a personal loan, you don't have to add all that debt and you have the car of your dreams that you can drive for very little cost up front. Now, some of these companies, you are subject to a credit check, but it all depends on their terms and their conditions. Also, some of these companies like Audi will only operate in certain areas like Texas. They're there exclusively. And then uh, Tesla is running a, a, a subscription program and I think they're going to be in the region of California. But you do have some of these companies that have a variety of cities and metro areas that they have this program in and you can check in your local area to see what car subscriptions is available to you or the closest metro area to you in your state so hopefully this was informational and this will give you guys a credit hack so you can maintain your credit and you can drive the car of your dreams. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.